And now we take you live to French Trump's weekly press conference. Hello, it is I, French Trump. I am here to begin the French President press conference. I will take your questions now. Uh, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, yes, you, you, you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Uh, Emmett Manning, New York Tuesday. Yes, Emmett. You keep saying that the medical equipment stockpile shelves were bare because of the last administration, but you've been president for three years. Uh, sh- shouldn't you have done anything about that? I don't know, damn it. I have had so much going on. You know, we've been putting in tennis carts here at the White House because Melania wants to play tennis, and we hope also to hide Rudy Giuliani's body under the pavement. But I don't really play tennis, so I've been taking lessons, and I spent hours hitting the tennis ball against the White House. Sometimes Stephen Miller comes out and says, Could you stop that? I am trying to figure out how to eliminate people of color from our country. And it is hard to thank with with you banging that ball. Or Bill Barr will say, stop hitting that ball. I am trying to thank how to keep you out of the hooskow. And you keep hitting that ball. So I have been very busy. No time for medical supplies. Obama should have done it. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Thank you. you. Thank you. Babs Barkley with TMZ. Uh, Such an important news outlet. Yes, Babs. Go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Thank you. Why were you even considering winding down the coronavirus task force when the numbers of infections and deaths have continued to grow in most of the country? Well, Babs. I did not realize how popular the task force is. We are more popular than the Beatles. I'm taking them on tour. I'm getting the matching jackets and giving Dr. Burke the tambourine. I should have known better with a girl like you that you would love everything that I do. And you do, and you do. Hey, 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 next question, next question. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, you, President, Mr. 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 I breathe into a mask and the odor is right there, trapped, and I, I smell it. It is disgusting. I could faint very strongly right there in the mask factory. Ugh, I don't even like to think about that putrid smell. Next question. Next question. Mr. Mr. President, 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 you, you, you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Tony Romo from ABC News. Oh, Tony Romo, um, I love. Tony Romo, extra cheese, Tony Romo. Yes, yes, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Why did you choose to be interviewed for Fox News at the Lincoln Memorial? Because they have not disclosed the location of the Robert E. Lee statue. So Lincoln was my sloppy seconds. I, I, I didn't want to bring it up in front of his statue, but Lincoln was wrong about so much. A house divided cannot stand. I have divided this country, and my house stands just fine. In fact, Melania and I don't even sleep in the same bed, and there is not so much as a creek in the floor. We do have some things in common, Lincoln and I. He, for example, is on the penny, and I have left Americans with only pennies. Next question, next question. Oh, Mr. Mr. President. 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 You, right you, you, Mr. President. you in the front row uh, there, you. Thank you. Uh, is it true that you are planning on spending an additional half a billion dollars to have the border wall painted black and that you've been in these talks as recently as a month ago in the midst of this pandemic with soaring death and infection rates and hardworking Americans being thrown out of work and without yet having a national testing system, which your own medical advisors tell you is a critical component to defeating the virus? Well, we want the wall to look nice. Besides, it will give Eric something to do. 
Makes you all pretty for Papa, Eric. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. You. You. Thank you, Mr. President. Jade Jones again from the Detroit. Yeah, it's good to talk to you again. I missed you. Many of the states and cities that are reopening seem to have disregarded the White House CDC three-phase plan for reopening. What do you say to them? Well, Jed, men has Suzanne Collins, so that is two faces right there. First, she says she wants to protect a woman's right to choose, and then she votes to confirm Kavanaugh. So that's two faces right there. People want to go back to work, and the mayor of Las Vegas had volunteered to see if Las Vegas workers die and to allow the rest of the country to bet on it. I got a piece of that action, I tell you that, Jed. Next question, next question. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President. Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. Thank you, Tony Romo, again with ABC News. Oh, Tony, uh, yes. It, yeah, it, it was just reported that one of your personal valets has tested positive for coronavirus. Will you be following the recommendation of a two week quarantine and self isolation? I, he's fired. He is absolutely fired. That, that valet, I can park my own car. Uh, you know what, I tried to help him. I, I suggested to him that he let teeny little manners run up his ass, which would bring back mining, and also is they have the hats with the light so it uses a light inside of his body. He would not do it, he's an idiot. I tried to inject him with disinfectant and he wouldn't let me. He's fired, I just get rid of that. I'll just park my own car from now on. Next question. Mr. Mr. President, 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 M